Go under you, go under you. Go down. Hello everyone, today is July the 2nd, 2023 and I'm on board the Legend for my second bluefin tuna trip this year. I didn't catch anything for my first trip in May, that's why I didn't record a video and I am really hoping that I can catch a fish this time so I can share the experience with you guys. The game plan is that we will try some of the smaller great tuna near Coronado Island if it doesn't work out, we will drive all the way to San Clemente Island and target those larger grade tuna with nighttime jigging. We only caught a small tuna near Coronado Island for the two hours that we stayed near that place. Um, that's why the captain decided to drive seven hours all the way to San Clemente Island. And the gamble paid off. For the first two, three hours after we got to San Clemente, there were about three stops during which the boat landed almost 34 fish anywhere from you know 30 40 but a lot of those are from 70 80 all the way to 150 or 60 pounds at the second stop captain mentioned that there was a big school of fish swimming around 150 to 200 feet deep so i dropped my jig down and after about sec 10 seconds or so, I could feel that the jig suddenly slowed down. So I put the reel into gear and started cranking. And right away, the fish was hooked. So the technique used during the nighttime fishing is pretty much speed jigging, which means you drop the jig as fast as you can to the depth where the fish are, and then you crank your reel as fast as you can, mimicking a running bait fish, essentially. After the fish is hooked, now the real hard part begins. It's very easily for you to lose the bluefin tuna since there are 28 people on the boat. You know, your line can get cut or the fish can break your line. Anything can happen. So you have to almost do everything perfectly to land a quality tuna. At the beginning part of the fighting, all I could do was to try to follow the fish, uh, make sure I don't get tangled with anyone else as much as I could. Come underneath! Drop your rod chip! Drop your rod chip! Come underneath! So at this point, we have 28 people fishing on a boat with multiple hookups. And the situation was quite chaotic, to be honest. As you move up and down the rail in the beginning part to follow the fish, it's very important for you to communicate with the anglers next to you. You guys need to understand uh, whether or not your, your line is under or over that person's line to essentially avoid any kind of tangle. But with everything taken into consideration, the nighttime uh, visibility, you know, the many anglers on the boat, sometimes even if you do everything well, uh, tangles are still unavoidable. Go under, go under, okay. Okay, I 
And very shortly you will see that I was involved in a four to five way tangle while I was fighting the fish. Uh, it's not a good situation. And you will also see how one of the captains, Matt, the guy on the screen right now, uh, helped us get out of the tangle. If I remember correctly, what you see Matt is doing now is that I, th I think there was a broken line. Um, but there was a fish at the end of the line, so Matt was trying to hold on to the line and the fish with his hand while they are trying to reattach the line to the fishing pole. I was quite worried at the time that if I you know lose tension on my line the fish can get away at any time um, but luckily the deckhand really did their job and it helped us it helped me um, get out of this fiasco so I can keep fishing so kudos to the deckhand and crew member The rod I'm using for nighttime jigging is the Kelstar 7470, extra heavy, rated for 60 to 120 pounds. The reel I'm using is the Pan International 16 VISX. It's not too heavy but powerful enough. I have about 500 yards of 100 pound braid on that reel along with about 20 yards of 100 pound mono as a top shot. The jig I'm using today is the 300 gram Ocean Cat long jig. It's kind of a speed jig, so it goes, sinks down very fast under the water.
So as you can probably hear in the background, um, in the middle of my fight, there are, you know, I kept hearing, you know, biters, spiders here and there. So that second stop of the trip was really a quality stop. We landed many, uh, you know, very good fish, uh, you know, anywhere from 70, 80 to, uh, there, I think there is one fish, it's over 150 pounds. The fight in total took about 25 to 30 minutes, but every second of that was exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. One thing I could have done better was that I should gradually increase the drag of the reel towards the end of the fight. Since I was using a 100 pound setup, I should have increased the drag more from like 15 pounds towards maybe 20 or 22 pounds at the end of the fight. That would have killed the fish earlier.
my joy vocation. Looks like you get it in. Okay. Aiden, right? Yeah, Aiden. Little by little. Am I good? Okay. You in low gear? Low gear. Low gear? You got that, Alex? Help! Help! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Come over.
Come over. Come over. After about 30 minutes of hard fighting, the fish was finally landed and it turned out to be just over 90 pounds. that's it for my trip overall I had a great time it was the first tuna that I caught using a jig so I was really excited about that and thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed the video please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time